guys, maybe we'll come down here. Do you see Gabe Davis? Oh, I'd love to. Do you to. see your uh, little pong game? Let's go, George. Get up. Oh, Move it. I have to work at I work. I your name is George. Hey, would you like a beanie? Yes. I was which about one would you like? Like a... This one or the... All right. Which one do you like I'm going to give you both one for you and Claire. Oh, there you, you go. An angel. Claire Kittle, we love you. We do love you. All right, Claire. come down here. Hey, Gabe Davis. Hey. hey. What are you, what are you doing? Good to see you. Do you know this hey, guy? Davis. What's up, baby? How you doing? Ah. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, I'm going to let Big George get the fan. benefit of watching you go first. You have oh, yeah, 30 seconds. It. Okay. Let me just take you through this. Here's the leaderboard. <laughs> I saw McCaffrey did it, right? Okay, McCaffrey did it and got eight. Cam Jordan did it after three shots of tequila, and he just did this with his massive hands. This and threw them, and so did Nate Burleson, and that's how he did so well today. That's so how he did it. It's that's up to you. It. Do it however you want to do it. Let me hold this for you. All right, let's do it, and then you're going to go, George. Is there an elbows rule here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if the winner wins. My boyfriend is really trying to get in a lot of air. T Can you let me cook? Thirsty. He's there. You're a little thirsty over there, really Swaggy. No, I'm kidding. Get on over here. All right, we ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll start on you. I'll start on me? Yeah. Okay, don't, no, on the release. Don't, on the release. don't feel the pressure, Dave. Do it. No, there's no pressure, Dave. Let's go. Woo! Oh, we go. buckets. Oh. Buckets. Oh, shit. Hey, we got another oh. hey, we got another lefty. Yeah, and that's probably the not, that's not it. That's probably why I, have, I got zero. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Woo! There we go, there we go, there we go. There you got this, you got this? Four. Okay. You got ten seconds. Five. Oh. Four. Oh. Five seconds. Gabe, 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 Gabe! One more, one more. Woo! Is not it? bad, not bad. See, first thing in the morning. Seven. Seven, all right, we'll put a big that's seven here. Where, oh, where are you at, Gabe? Dead is All right, George, you gotta go. Yeah, so George, let's do most, it. What was the best way to do that, Gabe? Okay. What? Throw them all at once. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Swaggy, baby, come over here. Didn't I tell you that I was gonna work all morning? What are you doing? Gosh, my boyfriend will leave me alone. Are we like Insta official now? Was it a soft launch or a hard launch? I don't even know. Nope, that didn't. All right. All right, we're gonna start. Let's go. I'll start it on you, George. Do you think it's gonna do okay? Yep. Yeah. Hey, it's release. good to see you. I had so much fun last night. All right. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe bounce it. Nice. Oh, woo! Bucket. George, 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 George. Fifty. Come on, George. Come on, Kittle. Oh. Come on, Kittle. Come on, Kittle. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Everyone, I'm at five. This is an athlete. Five, four, three. Yeah! Five! Ah! 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 champion here right no. this you're the best thank you all right gabe davis is up thank next thank you guys you guys are wonderful do that sign it we'll get some more margaritas talking to gabe davis one of my favorite players up on stage next on up and adams here we go here we go let's go am i coming up here with you k yeah let's get a picture oh my god what is happening <laughs> i'm here with one of my favorite wide receivers who like we, we know each other like that, even though we don't know each other like that. This is Gabe Davis. Gabe, how are you enjoying Super Bowl week? Okay, good. You know, having fun. Had a fun night, night yeah. last night. And, you know, glad to be here on the show. How much sleep did you get last night, Gabe Davis? Like four. Four, four hours. hours. Four well, hours that's why you are such a badass for coming and hanging out with us here on Up and Adams. Uh, and I don't know if your mama would like that you got four hours sleep. Now, you know I'm the biggest fan of your mom, and she is so supportive of you vocally. So let's give a little shout out for all of her support this season. Yes. Mom, I love you. I'm glad that you get to see me on the show with your favorite person ever, Kay. Kay's been amazing from the jump ever since I came into the NFL. She's shown me nothing but love, support, you know, ups and downs. She's always been by my side, so got nothing but love and respect. Oh, love, right, Mr. Gabe Davis and the whole Davis family. Okay, let's talk about this season. It feels like you took a, a leap. Josh Allen every year takes a leap. You really did that. You got on the map with him in sort of a different way. What was behind that? Um, you know, again, just me being being on the team for now for the past three years and being able to be on the offense for three years and be around the guys more and get to know them and, uh, you know, obviously get the reps in. So, I, you know, it's a whole process, a developing process. I've been able to develop each and every year. So, you know, being around, you know, doing that. How would you describe your connection with your quarterback? Uh, I feel like I'm like Josh is like top five, like best people in his life ever. 
So I feel like me and him have a connection. Just Wait, what? I'm such a great person. <laughs> You know what I mean? And me and him are so relatable. Okay. I feel like, you know, that's why, you know, me and him are, you know, again. But take me into that. What makes you one of the best people in his life? Um, I would say, like, our, like our sense of humor, the way we look at life, the way we uh, approach life. I feel like it's all the same. And, again, I'm, I'm, I probably hang out with Josh probably once or twice a week. You know? And what do you guys do when you hang out? Like, you see some images of, like, Joe Burrow taking his guys for Taco Tuesday. What's yeah. the thing that you guys do? Um... Long walks, you know, on Lake Erie. Uh, watch, you guys go on walks? Wa watch movies together. No, no, no. You guys go on walks, no, you and Josh? No, no, no. I don't know. I thought that was serious. <laughs> no, no, well, no. What do you no, guys no. do, like, when you guys go hang out? Just no. kick at each other's houses? Yeah, we just kick it at, it. yeah, probably kick it at, you know, Josh's house is way bigger than my house. So, you know, we go kick it at his house, and, you know, there's everything at his house that we can do. So. Uh, okay. Whatever your mom tells you before these big playoff games works, because you show out in the, the more, the most, in the biggest spots. Okay, wild card on against the Dolphins. I'm going to look at your 2022 Gabe Davis script. Let's tee it up. This is a script that was handed to you before the season, and here it is. I mean, <laughs> you drove the dagger, Gabe Davis, through Miami's upset bid. Uh, so talk to me about this. This is some toe drag swag, Nick Burleson would say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like... Uh... The playoffs add extra juice too. You know, guys try to say each game is the same. I feel like once you get in the playoffs, there's always some extra juice going on. Always some extra motivation. Um, and I just know I want to be able to, you know, in the in the toughest situations, you know, put my put the team on my back and uh, was able to execute every time the ball came my way that get, that day. Well, it was amazing. Toe drag swag. It shows how good of a player you are. What are we supposed to call you in these playoff games? Is it playoff game? What do you want us to call you? Because I think my, mom, my mom likes uh, Big Game Gabe. Big Game Gabe. I, I have that big here. Game. Big Game Gabe or Playoff Gabe. Okay. Mama, that's what we're calling him Whatever from now mama on. Mama likes, you know, that's what we do. So. Um, what do you make sitting now? You're having fun. You're at Super Bowl. It's great. But that loss, does it sting still? Are you past it? Like, how do you deal with that kind of thing? I mean, when I, when I pulled up uh, and I was walking in the airport and I saw the Chiefs and the Eagles stuff going on, I mean, it just... Then I, I hung out with my guy Kenny. Kenny Gamewell, me and him are real close. Oh, yeah. Um, but it just hurts my stomach real bad every time I, you know, see some stuff going on. Or Again, I even saw Kenny last night, and I was, and I was you know, feeling it just because, you know, um, the guys that I play with and what we do and what we sacrifice, you know, obviously I would love to be in this position to be able to play in the Super Bowl. And, you know, all this is nothing compared to being those guys um, on Sunday. So uh, it's a... It's, uh, it definitely, it definitely uh, hurts, but, you know, it is what it is. You just what kind of things it. are you thinking about when you see that? Like, what's the upsetting? Do you think of a play? Do you think of a moment? Do you think of the Bengals game? What do you think about? Yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I mean, you, you always think of what, what you could have done better um, to put your team in a better situation uh, yourself and then what we could have done better as a team. And But, you know, again, you just got to learn from these experiences yeah. and be able to roll over. And What's know, the positive, Gabe? What's, what's the positive you can take from that to build and go forward? The positive is that you know you're capable of doing it. You know you just gotta you just gotta find those pieces and put them together and be able to, uh, you know, again, it, this is the this is the best game in the world and this is the number one game to watch in the world and um, it's 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 hard to get here. We all know that, but at the end of the day, we gotta know that uh, all we have to do is sacrifice. You know to be able to get in this position because this is the best position to be in. It's so true. Now, I know you love me, but you probably love Rihanna a little bit more. So talk to me about this halftime show. Are you excited? What should of, she sing? Of Who course. Who should she bring out? Of course. Rihanna's the OG. Yes. Um, <laughs> got a lot of love for her. I actually met her two years ago. Um, it was pretty pretty cool at the Rock Nation brunch. I was able to meet her and meet a lot of other people, but a uh, very humble, uh, sweet woman from what I remember. Um, I told them that they, that she should bring me out there. Oh, well, would you? Would you? Me and her would look you good. You would sing. You and her would look good for sure. Yeah, me and her would look good. Uh, if she needs me to hit a couple notes, I will. You know. <laughs> Can we hit? Well, 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 that's. Too, I mean, she could still change you and get you in. Let's hit a couple notes here. What do you want to sing? Um, Take a sip. <clears throat> what do you want? A little rude boy. Work, work, work. A Rihanna song. Say my name. What? A Rihanna song. A Rihanna. Any song. Give me anything you want to sing. Cam Jordan and Mark Ingram are wildin' singing on the set. Come on, Gabe Davis, go! Rihanna? Well, anything, just anything you want. Mary Hey Little Lamb, go! I should've bought you flowers and held your hand to hang on up. Come on, 
Thank you. That was good. Oh, hours. <laughs> You're singing Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. I if no I idea. thought that my last no seconds of my Super Bowl week were going to be playoff game, no, sorry, big game Gabe, singing out. Bruno Flowers oh, Bruno. to me. Yes. Uh, Bruno Flowers, Bruno Mars, Bruno and Mars. cheers. Thank you to Gabe Davis. Thank you to everybody who stopped.